Hi, my name is Elias Lobin. I've identified over 28,000 ancient coins and artifacts on our own website called trustedcoins.com. I'm an ancient Greek and Roman coin dealer. I, every item I sell, I provide with a full color certificate of authenticity, complete with a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, my signature, um, the coin in a professional case with a description behind it, a uh, color photograph of the item, uh, a professional description of the item, citing many times major references and collections, and the historical context of the item you purchase. So even if you're a brand new novice to history, my website is definitely worth checking out. So today I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Emperor Commodus. He's also referred to in the uh, movie Gladiator made by Hollywood many years ago. Notice over here he's wearing the vestments of being Hercules. Commodus, in the uh, height of his megalomania, he um, considered himself Hercules and he would fight gladiator gladiatorial combats. So, let me begin reading his biography. Commodus was Roman Emperor from 180 to 192 AD. He also ruled as co-emperor with his father, Marcus Aurelius, from 177 until his father's death in 180. His name changed throughout his reign. See changes of name from earlier. His succession as emperor was the first time a son succeeded his father since Titus succeeded Vespasian in 79. Commodus was the first, um, up until 337 only, emperor born in the purple, born during his father's reign. Commodus was born on 31st of August 161 AD as Commodus in Lanuvium, near Rome. He was the son of the reigning emperor Marcus Aurelius and Aurelius' first cousin, Faustina the Younger. On 27th November 176, Marcus Aurelius granted Commodus the rank of imperator. In the middle of 177, the title of Augustus, during his son, the same status of his own formally sharing power. On 23rd December of the same year, the two Augusti celebrated a joint triumph, and Commodus was given tribunician power. On 1st January 177, Commodus became consul to the, uh, for the first time, which made him, aged 15, the youngest consul in Roman history up to that time. He subsequently married Brutia Crispina before accompanying his father to the Danubian front once more in 178, where Marcus Aurelius died on 17th March 180, leaving the 18-year-old Commodus sole emperor. Upon his accession, Commodus devalued the Roman currency. He reduced the weight of the denarius from 96 per Roman pound to 105. He also reduced the silver purity from 79 to 76 percent. In 186, he further reduced the purity of the silver weight to 74 percent. His reduction of the denarius during his rule was the largest since the empire's first devaluation during Nero's reign. Commodus but was remarked by political strife and the increasingly arbitrary and capricious behavior of the emperor himself. Nevertheless, though the senatorial order came to hate and fear him, the evidence suggests that he remained popular with the army and the common people for much of his reign, not because of his lavish shows of, or, or largesse, but and because he staged and took part of spectacular gladiatorial combat. Uh, Commodus was inaugurated in 183 as consul with Aedius Victorinus for a colleague and assumed the title Pius. During 191, the city of Rome was extensively damaged by a fire that raged for several days, during which many public buildings, including the Temple of Pax, the Temple of Vesta, and parts of the Imperial Palace were destroyed. In 192, Commodus declaring himself the new Romulus ritually refounded Rome, renaming the city Colonia Lucia Ania Camadiana. On the contrary, as guileless as many and others lived around made him the slave of his companions, and it was through them that he at first out of ignorance missed the better life that he was led on with lustful and cruel habits, which soon became a uh, second nature. Commodus was extremely proud of his physical prowess. He was generally acknowledged to be extremely handsome. As mentioned above, he ordered many statues to be made showing him dressed as Hercules with a lion's hide and club. 
He thought of himself as a reincarnation of Hercules, frequently emulating the legendary hero's feats by appearing in the arena to fight a variety of wild animals. He was left-handed and was very proud of the fact. Commodus also had a passion for gladiatorial combat, which he took as far as to take the arena himself, dressed as a gladiator. The Romans found Commodus' naked gladiatorial combats to be scandalous and disgraceful. Commodus was also known for fighting exotic animals in the arena, often to the horror of the Roman people. According to Gibbon, Commodus once killed 100 lions in a single day. In November 192, Commodus held plebeian games in which he shot hundreds of animals with arrows and javelins every morning, and fought as a gladiator every afternoon, naturally winning all the bouts. In December, he announced his intention to inaugurate the year 193 as both council and gladiator on the 1st of January. At this point, the prefect Laetus formed a conspiracy with Eclectus to supplant Commodus with Pertinax, taking Marcia into his confidence. On 31st December, Marcia poisoned his food, but he vomited up the poison. So the conspirators sent wrestling partner Nessus to strangle him in his back. Upon his death, the Senate declared him a public enemy, de facto Domnatio Memoria, and restored the original name of the city of Rome and its institutions. Commodus statues were thrown down, his body was buried in the mausoleum of Hadrian. However, in 195, the Emperor Septimius Severus, trying to gain favor with the family of Marcus Aurelius, rehabilitated Commodus' memory and had the Senate de deify him. Commodus was succeeded by Pertinax whose reign was short-lived and being the first to fall victim to the year of five uh, emperors. Commodus' uh, death marked the end of the Nervan Antoninian dynasty. Thank you very much for visiting my site, trustedcoins.com, to buy coins of this emperor and others.